words are, we are one, we are one. We are one people, one planet, we are one. We are one, we are one. We are one people, one planet, we are one. Can I hear you? We are one, we are one. We are one people, one planet, we are one. Many colors fill the rainbow. Many rivers find the sea. Many people, many cultures, many lands all weave together one great tapestry of humanity. We are one, we are one. We are one people, one planet, we are one. We are one, we are one. We are one people, one planet, we are one. All existence is connected. Every atom, every soul. The web of life and every night and every day is an orchestrated interplay within the whole. We are one, we are one. We are one people, one planet, we are one. We are one. We are one, we are one people, one planet, we are one. Yeah, you can applaud. It's easier said than done that uh, we are one. I think the hardest, the hardest thing for human beings to learn is how to build bridges across our differences. How to recognize that the universe is a unity which encompasses a rich diversity and that diversity is inspiring and beautiful and magnificent rather than creating a separateness and walls between us. We're one people, one planet, one love, one heart. We live together in this beautiful planet which nurtures and sustains us and gives us life and gives us everything we need. And Swami Vishnu Devanandaji, he understood this very well. And he was a tireless peacemaker. He devoted his life to it. And he risked his life for peace. He did some amazing things. He, for example, at the height of the war between Israel and Egypt, flew over the Suez Canal in one of those ultralight vehicles, dropping leaflets and flowers of peace down. Could you imagine doing such a thing in the middle of a war? Who would do such a thing? He did. He did. And he landed, and he was immediately arrested. And no one had ever seen this person before. What was he doing? Who was he? Where was he from? And he pulls out a passport, illustrated by the artist Peter Max. He says, I'm a citizen of the community of the planet Earth. They didn't know what to do with him, so they let him go. And then he flew over the Berlin Wall doing the same thing at the height of the Cold War with the Soviet Union and the United States. And he landed in a field in East Berlin, and they arrested him. Or they tried to arrest him, but they didn't know who he was or where he was from. He was a citizen of the planet Earth. He showed the way. He showed the way, and, and, and he showed it by putting his life on the line. He, he could have easily been shot down, taken down, locked away. 
Amazing. He was what in in Yiddish you say chutzpah. <laughs> he had great chutzpah, and he was fearless. Fearless. Why? Why would he be fearless? Because he knew the divine was in with was within, and he stood in the integrity of that divine. He knew that war was wrong. Peace is more powerful. Peace is very powerful. There is a peace that is magnificent. There is a peace that is awesome. There is a peace that is powerful. And it lives right here, right now, in every breath and every heartbeat of every soul. 